Good morning guys. It is Sunday morning. I've been up for about two hours. I actually got up at eight this morning. It seems to be the new thing. Uh, however, I'm going to be sure to put a alarm clock up uh, throughout the week to get up at seven or eight every morning. But yeah. Good morning. I've been sitting here editing my video my my um, uh, vlog video um, been playing around a little bit with the thumbnail for the video which was kind of fun also I have been editing a whole bunch of craft photos um, still have a few left to done do that's the word left to do um, I still haven't really decided how one of the videos is going to play out because uh, when I made my three cards a couple of days ago, uh, one for the, basically couldn't really decide which I wanted for the release. I ended up doing the one with the Rhino, um, but I had two other cards which are like quick makes and they basically the same but different. So I think I'm going to take one of the cards do the whole process with it and then show pictures at the end of the other card and tell that I used um, what I've used with it so something like that I might do that I think I forgot to write up which color I used though mm, to think about it but uh, so I'm editing the photos for that uh, I have another video that's coming up on Saturday that is all recorded and I've done all the photographs for it now so I will sit down and do the editing for it um, for a little while and yeah that is my morning um, I didn't do my hundred cross stitches yesterday uh, when I sat down to do them Christopher was really really tired I was really really tired and we decided that I went to bed instead uh, I have been doing a lot more than 100 stitches every day. I've been between 500 and 800 stitches every day. So Christopher said it was okay to jump one day. So I did. <laughs> but um, hopefully I can get those stitches done today. But I'm going to continue editing my photos. I'm eating my breakfast. I can't eat directly when I get up in the morning. So I've been eating my breakfast, which I've been usually been salmon and I also have a cup my Crete cup I actually did two cups so I have either for lunch or for breakfast tomorrow um, it's a smoothie it's a banana orange raspberry and cranberry smoothie so it's not as red as the other others have been uh, but it's really good it's the banana gives it the sweetness so I don't need really any other sugars or anything in it, which is awesome. The oranges I have is also pretty sweet. Had two bananas, two oranges, a um, handful of raspberries and a handful of uh, frozen raspberries and frozen cranberries. I didn't find any strawberries at the grocery stores and I didn't uh, yesterday. I didn't find any plums either. So all the fresh fruit I have right now is bananas and oranges and then I don't like to do like a fruit salad for, for breakfast because it's it's kind of boring. I've been eating uh, with strawberries and plums together with a banana and orange then it's more, more of a salad than just two fruits and then it's really really good. Um, but uh, the prices of the fresh raspberries were way too expensive. Um, so I decided to not, not buy any. Instead, just use the frozen ones I have, and do smoothies because smoothies are good. But good morning, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I have a very, very big kitty. Look at him. Look at him. He's all the way down, all the way up. It's like having a little baby, and he likes to be cuddled underneath his armpits. Yeah, yeah, I've been shaving him now, uh, Gizmo, when it's getting warm, 
the he sweats and when he sweats he gets these little tangles really bad tangles mats i think they're actually called mats uh and we don't want them to be big so we actually shave him and we usually shave him all all on his tummy uh but right now i just shaved away those mats so that he can be all free and nice a huge pool yeah both Christopher and I is a little bit under the weather today, so we're not doing very much. We've been watching a movie. Uh, well, I actually have been playing, and I wanted to show you if you can see on my screen. Yeah, it works pretty good. Um, I am playing with digital art, and that is my reference image. I finally learned how to set up things so that I can have sort of a reference image somewhere. Uh, and this is uh, the eye. Let's see if I can zoom it out a little bit. Um, so I'm working on it very zoomed in. Um, and then I have, I started with a base sketch of the eye. Actually done a couple of them before I got a shape that I kind of liked. I'm still not done with the bottom part of it. So I am in the middle of thinking what I'm supposed to do, um, where I'm going to work and how I'm going to arrange layers and stuff. Because I've done a couple of different layers on this, so still figuring things out. Um, I'm going to try to kind of shade some skin around it. We'll see how color-wise it will work out. I'm still really new to doing digital art. Um, I got my drawing pad like a year, a year and a half ago maybe, maybe even two years ago. I had it for a while but I haven't really sat down and draw, drawn that much. One of those reasons have been that it's been hard for me to draw uh, in, my, in the office due to me having issues with sitting up in my office chair. Uh, but also, the computer I have had kind of, I can't really handle this. This is actually, I'm, I'm noticing that it is a little bit, I think I would need more cores or something really. But it works much, much better than my old Mac. So, uh, I set this up here a couple of days ago. And then I didn't do anything and uh, because I wanted to do my design, which I'm still working on. Um, we had, like with any design, you don't just like do it and then you put it out there. Um, with my friend who was over yesterday, we were sitting chatting, uh, me and Christopher and him, and we had like ideas how it would look and uh, more text, less text, stuff like that. Uh, we were talking about changing to a different font, but it's hard because I really want a font that is very thin because otherwise the text gets too much um, and stuff like that. So we, we're having a lot of fun um, still playing around with, with with those prints, but you can't work on them all the time and you have to let ideas sit and stuff like that. So today I am practicing eyes and I'm practicing eyes on my pad. One of the kind of good things with the pad is that you can you can kind of remove layers, you can add layers, you can kind of rearrange stuff. If you make something in a good sort of way but it's a little bit crooked you can kind of just uh, tilt it. And there's a lot of, of different tools you have that you can use that you can't do in um, normal paper art. It's also a very efficient way for me to practice it. I really want to learn how to do art and I really want to someday earn money doing art. If I could do that, which right now that is the big dream, is to be a designer of some sort, illustrator. Um, and work in that business could be really really cool we'll see we'll see um, after the blog hop 
that we had like yesterday yeah it was yesterday no it was friday it's two days ago days are running away from me um i'm having a lot of more hope in myself um more feeling the strength in myself in a whole other other way um i got around 70 new subscribers since on my craft channel and even though subscribers is just subscribers when you want to do it professionally you somehow need to look at those numbers because you that will kind of show you if you're good not if you're good enough if you get get your art out there um and my cards are I have had a very hard time saying that my cards is a piece of art, but technically it's probably is a piece of art. Um, just that one day I want to be able to do those characters myself also. I will probably never stop doing cards because it's so much fun. And colouring someone else's line art is really, really fun and it makes me grow as a colorist. But I want to make my own line art also. That would be yeah it's now time to go to bed so <laughs> i'm going to go to bed really really tired um my headache is pounding and i'm tired but i have been playing with some more digital art i kept the eye as it was because i think it looked pretty cool and i kind of liked it the way it was um i even considering and putting it up as a print but we'll see uh, the second thing I did today was a portrait of Megan Tonyes. And it's not perfect in any way. There is so many things that I felt it didn't really do. Um, but I don't want to fiddle with it anymore because I think I need to do a restart. I already changed colors in her face like four or five times and it just doesn't doesn't happen she's a little bit harder to color mainly because she has not like some people have really really sharp uh cheekbones and she has very round shapes in her face very beautiful very face but um, I'm having a hard time. I've tried to sketch her before. I think I have like four or five different sketches and different pads just because it's kind of fun to play around with. But now I did it with digital coloring, which I've never done. I am practicing. I'm practicing and practicing and practicing. Um, so it's, uh, it was fun though. It was really, really fun to do. And I learned something about doing hair, not by looking things up, but by playing. And all fun when you learn something by playing, so yeah. But I'm really, really tired, um, both of me and Christopher is under the weather. And Gizmo has gone around sneezing all day, so I'm wondering if he also is a little bit under the weather. If I'm not mistaken, Kitties can get human colds, but I'm not sure. I've heard something about it sometime, but I haven't Googled it right now. Yeah. So, um, we are all heading to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow. So, good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.